G'day and welcome to Ninja Runners. It's just me. Um, this is the second recording of this. We actually recorded this earlier with um, Paul and Luke, and unfortunately, in my tiredness, I turned off the sound. So the last 17 minutes of the video was absolute silence. So um, what this is going to be is um, me going through the CCU chain uh, for the Invicta sale that will give you a discount of an A2 at $190. Um, if you like this type of content, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Half of our uh, people that watch our videos are not subscribed. And if we get to 15k uh, subscribers by the end of Alien Week, uh, we're going to give you guys a Sulian or whatever ship comes out of Alien Week uh, as a thank you. And that's one that we'll give away. I'm so tired. All right. Anyway, with that said, uh, this is the CCU guide for this year. Um, and basically what this uh, details out here is that if you if it is in green it is something you pay for fresh cash and uh, blue allows you to use credit or fresh cash as well depending on how new or uh, old you are to the game and basically by taking a warbond ccu which are the ones in uh, green uh, except for the very first one but um, you basically get them at a discount so instead of paying the full price um, you can actually buy them at a discount. So let me uh, let me uh, switch over to the uh, browser, and I'll see if I can give you an example here. I'm just going to turn these other two cameras off that are actually on. Apologies for that. All right, so you can see I've actually got the links up, but I'm going to change this to say let's let's make it the arrow to Gladius. So that's one of the ones that are on special at the moment. So an arrow. And then on this side, I select the Gladius. And when you select the ship that you're going to, you'll see these special War Bond editions. So normally, uh, this pricing will be in Australian dollars, so there's an extra 10%, but normally it's $5 American. So you can see here it's $75, but it only costs $5, but the ship value will go to 90 right? So that essentially, when you go to melt it, it'll still be what you spent. Uh, but basically, essentially for $5, so $80 value, you're actually getting, uh, you're saving 10 and getting to 90. Um, and by stack, essentially just stacking these all together, um, we are, you're able to stack them all together, a little bit saving here and there all the way up the chain, and eventually get to $190 saving off at the very top, which is an A2 Carrick. Now you can jump off at any point. So if there's a ship there that you want to go to like a hurricane or even one that's not on this list, you could, there are CCUs that we had to uh, jump because they doubled up. But again, you can weave them together and get to a ship you've desired. You can also build multiple chains. So you could go, I want a Carrick, a Caterpillar and a hurricane and build three chains. Uh, all the way up to those ships so this is just a way to get a nice saving and um like a really good example i gave earlier when i was talking to paul and loken in the episode recorded if you look at the the mercury there now the mercury is normally 260 dollars in value but if you use the chains there it goes to 190 dollars. so you actually get 70 dollars off a of mercury which is quite you're essentially getting like almost a super hornet for uh cost for a mercury um, and that can be used on the other ships too that are in that price range, you know, the Constellation, the Corsair, uh, the Raelian and things like that all around that price point. Um, so it's pretty simple. Uh, Loken had never done this before. He got it as well. So um, I hope you got that as well. I will put uh, in the cards over there. Uh, last year around this time, I did uh, some really low level, so you can understand it, CCU guides right up to advance, so beginning... Uh, advanced and expert i think is what they were called i'll be up there in the description anyway um and you can go through there if you have any questions you can jump onto our discord and we have a dedicated ccu channel there for people that are having trouble with this um these ccu should be available today and tomorrow uh so again uh by putting the cost of those ccs together i should have done this earlier did not prepare for this so um Let's have a look at this. So let's just add them together. So you've got the cost of the links at $60. And then you've got uh, plus 5, plus 10, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, plus 75. So for all those together, it'll cost you $180 to buy every single one to get right up to the top. But you're essentially saving, um, as I said, it costs $520. So you're getting, you're getting quite a considerable discount off that... Um, a2 but again you can jump off at another point um 
and it won't cost you 180 it'll obviously go down a bit and you can buy the credit stuff later you can also leave them in chains uh in ccu chains or links and not connect them as a ship and as more sales come around you can hopefully find more ccus to put in the gap um, and that's eventually how someone got a 95 dollar carrick they took a referral gladius which is 90 dollars, which you get for free if you get a referral and then basically over two invictuses and two aies so four sales or two years they were able to buy war bonds and connect them all together and they, they were able to bring the price right down to just $95 in dollar value, which is pretty nuts. And that probably won't be repeated because CCUs of uh, war bond CCUs have gone up about 25%. Uh, so they're not quite as good as value as they used to be. But man, I might see, we might see someone get around to a $200 Carrick again. It's, it's totally possible. But yeah. So let us know your thoughts below in the comments below. If, um, this has been useful for you. I will also have an image in the this image here in the description, uh, so you can click on that and look at it as your leisure. I hope this guys helped you out. I, I the reason we do this stuff is to help you guys save money. Um, and, and apologies for the re-recording of the video. It just couldn't be helped, and I couldn't get Loken and and, and Paul back because they've gone off to do their own things. So right right now, Loken's streaming and Paul's getting ready to do his own stuff. So. Apologies for that, uh, but it uh, couldn't be helped. Um, and again, yeah, if you like this type of content, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, ring that notification bell. And uh, yeah, we're trying to get to 15k subs. And if we get there before the end of Alien Week, uh, we'll give you guys a Solian or whatever the Alien ship is uh, at Alien Week uh, to give away to one lucky viewer. Um, and yeah, uh, thanks for those that support us on Patreon and go the extra mile. Right, with that, I've been Execute. And I'm Solo, and I'll catch you in the next one, I guess. Bye.